Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back and happy 4th of July. I love 4th of July. I love fireworks. This is one of my favorite holidays. So today we are going to do a red, white, and blue pour. And I'm very excited. I'm going to show you my colors real fast. Pretty simple palette. This one is uh, Golden's Prussian Blue. And to this I have added just a tiny bit of Art Alchemy in the Midnight Sky color. So might give it a little bit of sparkle. My paint is all mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish, the Floetrol and the paint, and a tiny bit of water for some of these, for this one, for the Goldens and for the, the white. So the next one I have is Arteza's Bordeaux Red. Beautiful, deep, rich color. I always say I want lipstick this color. <laughs> so there's our blue and our red. Our white is Deco Art Americana Decor Satin Enamels in pure white with just a little bit of Artist Law Flow Acrylic in there. And I have two cups of that. One is for the pour and one is for the base coat. And last but not least, I have my Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Okay, so we're going to do a ring pour. So I'm very excited about this one. Here we go. One of these is thicker than the other one. One is for my base coat. Okay, this one's thicker. All right. So we're only going to use, this is a 20 by 20 inch gallery wrapped canvas from Artist Loft. For that size canvas, you would usually need about 15 ounces of paint. So I'm only going to put about 10 ounces in my cup to pour and we're going to do a flow extender around the outside of it. So let's start. We're going to start with some white, kind of a thicker layer of white. Then we're going to go, ooh, there's a bug. We're going to go out with the blue next. Kind of a thicker layer of our blue. And then we're going to put a smaller layer of the red. And a very small layer of the gold. And we're going to come in with the white again and put another thicker layer. And another thick layer of the blue. And one more of the red slightly smaller and one more of the gold okay so that's our cup we got to 12 ounces instead of 10 but that'll be all right okay so this is a 20 by 20 inch gallery wrapped canvas from artist loft i'm gonna put down a puddle of gold to pour into And the purpose of that is because I don't have a base coat down, I'm going to pour my cup into that to let it slide around easy and move easy. And if our paint on top of that stretches and that happens to want to come up as cells, I'll get really cute gold cells instead of white or blue or something. So, are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Let's do a ring pour. Here we go. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's turn this around. Okay, it's a lot of white in the center, which I'm not crazy about. Actually, I think I'm gonna put some blue in my cup and just put that in the center. Maybe a splash of red on top of it. So there's a little bit too much white in there for me. So, I think what I want to do, I had initially intended to just put white around the outside, but I want more of the blue. So I'm going to thin out my blue a little bit. Some water. 
And we're going to go around the outside of it with the layer of blue first. our white flow extender around that. I want to thin this out a little bit too. Okay, that's better. Okay. So this is a flow extender instead of a base coat it is warm where I am and if I put down a base coat it'll start to set up before I've even poured my cup so okay all right so we have our base coat down um, I want to do a little bit of comb work on here because I thought about something the other day and I think it's going to turn out really neat
Okay, so this one is dry now. Some really, really amazing parts on this. This was our red, white, and blue with the Bordeaux red from Arteza and Golden's Prussian blue. We added a little bit of the Art Alchemy Midnight Sky to it, but I don't see a lot of it in here. But the cool thing is the white satin enamels did that amazing trick it does where it's sort of got a little bit poofy from the clouds, but it sort of like lays on top of all this other stuff. So you see all these other colors underneath it, which is really trippy. I love this part down here at the bottom. Lots of beautiful lines from the comb. I really like the, the Bordeaux up here, the Bordeaux red, how it mixed a little bit with the blue and got a little deeper. But very, very pretty. There's so much gold in between these lines. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's crazy cool. So, <laughs> my kids have been watching Hamilton for the last two days because they've been in love with it for a very long time and they know all the words to so the songs. It's so funny. But it's awesome to see kids, like, you know, singing about history and, you know, Thomas Jefferson and Aaron Burr. It's awesome. So, if you guys haven't checked out Hamilton, it's, uh, I think it's streaming now on Disney Plus. You can check it out. It's pretty cool. So, looking at this one, I was trying to see what I see, you know, how we all do. And I see hands. I see two sides joining hands in the middle in this area. Kind of one side's a little more red and the other side's a little more blue. And then I see them holding this and lifting it up. And I see a family in here. I really, I see like the taller parts of the father and the mother and then down and toward the center is their kids. And just sort of this beautiful little family unit and both sides of that joining together and holding it up, which I thought was pretty cool. Anyway, <laughs> enough waxing poetic and philosophical. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you have a beautiful weekend. I hope you had a nice 4th of July. And, uh, you know, I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye-bye.